Sure. You want to talk? Let's it talk about that. Let's talk about that lawsuit people. then. Go ahead, Jessica. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that you shouldn't sexually assault people and then you shouldn't defame okay, them. Okay, was he found guilty of sexual yes, he assault? Was. He was a he criminal? Was, by a jury. was a criminal? That's Jessica Tarloff going at it with Greg Gutfeld on the five over a comment she made about Trump. Welcome to Nerk News, I'm Nerkish. Today we're going to take a few minutes to break down this clip and try to figure out exactly what is going on with Jessica Tarloff here because she almost comes off as manic. Don't run on Bidenomics. Leave the White House more than once a week. Ask Bill and Barack to raise money for you and hope a pop star endorses you. Jessica, this is not the re-election strategy of a winning campaign. This smacks of desperation and the fact that he's clinging to Taylor Swift, who he couldn't even pick out of a lineup without Jill going like this. That's Taylor. Tells me everything you know about Is Joe Biden. Is the strategy to owe $83 million for defaming a woman that you sexually assaulted? I would love Taylor Swift's endorsement. Any politician would. I but I like you people like what I just said. Uh, I imagine Jesse Waters glossed over her comment. Because for one, it literally has nothing to do with anything. And two, that case has been a legal nightmare of back and forth defamation lawsuits, which I imagine the producers at Fox don't even want to get near. Rock. Because that was the news from the weekend on that side. And then Joe Biden was 15 minutes endorsements. late to church. And you think it's the end of the world. Wait, the church. He goes to church. You want to talk? Let's he talk about that. Let's talk about that lawsuit then. Go ahead, Jessica. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that you shouldn't sexually assault people and then you shouldn't defame Okay, them. was he found guilty of sexual yes, he assault? Was. He was. a he criminal? Was, by a jury. was a criminal? It was it no, it's civil. civil. Yeah. Oh, that means it, it doesn't good. count? Okay. It means it's not a guilty verdict. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, it's always nice to bring something up that has that nothing to do to with your, the topic. It does. You said the campaign strategy. Uh, Gutfeld, once again, is absolutely correct here. Being found liable in a civil case with next to no evidence and a defendant whose motives are... Uh, let's say, suspect, is very different from being found guilty in a criminal case. Now, this wasn't the only bit in that episode where Jessica seemed on edge. A few moments later, her and Greg went at it again over the life issue. Millennial women like myself on the younger end of the millennial scale, I will admit. What was the issue that was so important to them? Abortion. Abortion. You don't have to whisper it. Abortion is a really big issue, and (laughs) it matters a lot to women on both sides of the aisle. Mm -hmm. Now, just wanted Added to make to it clear, that's all. Because people always say women's issues, but they never say abortion. No, I, so well, she I did say it, it for every abortion. Day. <laughs> right. Also known as reproductive freedom, also known as. Whatever euphemism you want. It's none of your business whatever what I do with you, my body. Whatever Thank euphemism you, you choose. Uh, Jessica, it's also known as all those silly things for the precise reason Greg just mentioned. Their soft language euphemisms used to disguise the horror of the actual thing itself. This is a common game the left plays with words, and it's a central tenet of political correctness. I mean, if you guys ever wanted a better example of how the left and right live in two separate realities, look no further than this clip. Because the left thinks Jessica came off good in this. I only found out about this episode because liberals were sharing it on social media as an example of Jessica owning her co-host. Which is funny because to me this is one of her weakest and most unhinged appearances on the show. She was just grasping at straws and saying non sequiturs. The only rational explanation I could think of to explain her behavior is that she was pregnant at the time, which would make the entire argument she just had with Greg even more heinous. But let me know what you think. Did Jessica own her co-host? Did she make a single rational point during that whole segment? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!